thank you for joining us for this quick tutorial on how to use the Tech Mode Go Collaboration Suite mobile app. Our mobile app offers all the same features as the desktop version on the go, so you are able to work from anywhere. Under the Team tab, you will find all of the users on the phone system with status. Clicking on the three dot menu to the right of each user give option, gives options to call, message, leave a voicemail, or send an email. Under the Contacts tab, you will find similar information to the Team tab, but it can be customized with personal contacts as well as team members. Clicking on the Contact gives the same options as the Team tab. On the keypad tab, you can dial manually or use the magnifying glass to search for a contact. Under the recents tab, you can see all calls and separate out missed calls. Clicking on the three dot menu next to the caller gives different options depending if the caller is an internal contact or external. Internal calls give all contact options for quick communication. In this example, let's choose message. This is going to open a chat to Larry who I'm sure is going to get back to us as quickly as possible. Moving over to the chat tab, here we can see all of our chat conversations. To start a new conversation, select the message icon in the upper right corner. Choose compose a message or create a group chat. Lastly, let's head to the voicemail tab. Here you can see all of your voicemails. Click to listen to the message. The three dot menu gives options to call back, mark as heard, or get a written transcription if one is available. It's in the upper right corner. Select a preset status by clicking on the name or arrow. Status controls out of office messaging as well as call forwarding. To edit your status, click on the colored box itself. Menu gives options for custom messaging and call forwarding. Choose your options and hit apply when finished. You can also choose to change your status automatically by using the set status temporarily option. Choose the status you want to display and select the time frame. Once that time has passed, your status will automatically return to available. Hit back and then apply. Next, we will discuss queue login and queue logout. Click on the representative icon directly to the left of the status button. Click yes to confirm login or logout. Next, let's review the left sidebar menu options. Clicking on Schedule allows you to schedule a call or video meeting. Give it a title, select your date and time, toggle video on if needed, and hit Save. This generates a calendar invite from your mobile device where you can add participants and attachments. Once you've confirmed that your calendar invite is correct and you've added your participants and attachments, hit add to send the invite. Clicking on meetings shows you all of your currently scheduled meetings. You can join the meetings from the screen. If you are the organizer, you can start your meetings from the screen.
Clicking on settings will give you your notification options, ringtone, and visual effects. You can also resend your login credentials by clicking on resend credentials. In this menu, you will also find your speed dial widget. Click on any blank circle to add a contact to your speed dial contacts. Thank you so much for watching our quick demo of the Tech Mode Go mobile app. If you're interested in testing the app yourself or have questions, please reach out to us at sales at techmode.com. Have a great day.